and today I will be doing a Monster High doll chat! First up, I have the new Lots of Looks dolls. I know I showed you guys Frankie before, but now I'm showing you Draculaura, and I'll show you Frankie again in case you haven't seen her yet. I think she's really cute, and in these packs they will be around $20, possibly $24. Um, they have a couple of pieces of clothes, two pairs of shoes, a purse, and some sort of other accessory, like Draculaura has glasses. And you can make all of these different outfits with them. And I put two little pink hearts right next to my favorite outfit here. I really like her hair. Like, I like it when Draculaura has unique hair colors. I want them to do an all black or an all pink hair look. I think that would look cool. And then here is Frankie, and by the way guys, these dolls do not have elbow, wrist, or knee articulation, which is unfortunate, of course, but other than that, I think they're really cute. And Frankie's face looks a bit different to me here. I don't know, there's something different about her eyes, maybe they made them even bigger than before. But other than that, I think her pack is really cute. And I put a blue heart by my favorite here. I really like that blue skirt that she has. So comment below who do you prefer, the Frankie or the Draculaura pack. I personally like the Draculaura pack better. And now let's take a look at some minis. So I believe this is going to be season 3. And I put hearts by my favorites. I think I'm going to start doing that now just so you guys know. So it looks like we are going to be getting some new characters in the basics, like Gulia, finally, uh, Persephone, or Meality, I'm not even sure, and then we're also getting a Nephra and Claude, and then we're adding on to the Electrified line, which is awesome, that's like my favorite line in the minis, and of course we got teddy bears, and it looks like we have garden ghouls, like that Twyla and Cleo, they look really cute, and then I tried to label as many lines here as I could. It looks like a electrified caddy we're getting, which is kind of cool because she wasn't in the movie, but this one looks really cool. And then we have two cheerleaders. I'm not sure what that Ari is in the bottom right corner, but then we have glow in the dark Gigi and a teddy bear Twyla. And now it's time to leave the minis so we can take a look at some mega blocks. So here is Ari, and it looks like she's in front of the stage. Now, I'm not sure how new all of these are, but this is just the most recent Mega Blocks. And then we're getting another Frankie and Draculaura, as well as some new character releases. My favorite is personally Monica. I think that they, they made her hair look really nice. I feel like they make their accessories a bit too big, though. It's my only th complaint here. Like, this camera in Katrine's hand is huge, and then look at the, the ball that Claude is holding. It's like the size of his head. <laughs> but other than that, they're really nice. And I believe that this is wave four. I'm not really sure, because I usually don't get the Mega Blocks unless I got Gulia and Venus, but that's it. <laughs> And then here is what's rumored to be the Cleo for Comic-Con 2017. This Cleo looks so pretty and cool. So I'm not really sure what the Claudine and those shorts are here, but this is, this is cool. Like, if this Cleo is the actual Comic-Con, I can't wait to see her and what her story is there. And this is what is possibly her outfit, so this isn't like 100% fact, but... This is what it could be. And then we're about to see my favorite part, which is that we could be getting another one of Cleo's pets. I think her name is Hissette. It's her little snake. And I remember getting her with the first Cleo I ever got. She's so cute. And here are some close-up shots of the collector's Abby. I really love the color scheme here, and it looks like Monster High, ever since Electrified, has been doing cool textures for the hair. So this is the Abbey that will be like the Skeleta and the fancy Draculaura that we had in the past two years. What I love about her is that she has actual fur. I mean, you know, not real animal fur, but it's like fluffy so you can feel it as opposed to that plasticky fur. 
The only thing I don't really like is that I feel like she has too many colors. Maybe if they didn't do pink and just did blue, purple, black, and white, then it would be nice. Because other than that, she's really cool. And her accessories are awesome. And then here are the monster families. Laguna has different hairstyles in these two photos, but other, th other than that, everything is the same. And it looks like she's coming with Kelpie, but honestly, that doesn't look too much like Kelpie to me. And they're in a beach pack. And then here's Claudine, her little brother and baby sister. And they're in, like, this pajamas sleeping pack. I'm not really sure what they're called yet. I think Claudine is really cute. And the only thing I don't like about these packs is, of course, the lack of articulation. I don't even mind when they recolor the accessories because I feel like... They're redoing some nice ones that I remember, but I don't know. Should I get these? Do you guys want to see reviews of these packs? Because I'm not really sure if I want them. Oh, yeah, and why is the hand so big? Like, look at her little brother's hand. It's so much bigger than the arm. I think it's supposed to be the other way around. <laughs> right, and then here are some fashion packs coming out. So it's going to be two outfits per pack. This one looks like it's for Draculaura and Laguna. I really like the shoes that Laguna has. And then this one I really love. It looks like it's for Cleo and Ari. The only thing I don't get is why is there a blue purse on Ari's side? I guess I could give that to Abby, which makes sense because that wasn't Abby purse before. And I really love the Cleo outfit. I think it's so simple but so cute. And then here are the Season 2 Back to School Basics. This is Claudine. She's so pretty. I really like these. I think they did a good job. And I plan on getting all of them, except for maybe Cleo. Like, Laguna looks so cute, and I love all the poses that they're in in these stock photos. Um, I just wish that her outfit wasn't all one piece. Like, that shirt is attached to the shorts, and I think that the, the fishnet leggings are attached too. And Cleo, she just has so many colors going on, like, she has dark blue shoes and green leggings and then a teal shirt. I feel like if they gave her teal leggings, that would look a lot nicer, but I can switch the leggings out, so I'll probably get them all. <laughs> okay guys, that's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and sorry for not doing videos in a little while. I was just waiting to gather up enough photos so the video could be pretty long. Alright, so comment below what you think of these dolls and stay tuned for new videos.